Let's review your LT3 seminar, which is labeled SSS and SAS. We'll have to figure out what that is in a second. Um, do the first five questions, then come back for the rest of the seminar. I want you to use SSS to show triangles are congruent and SAS. What the heck is SSS? SSS is side, side, side. On our last lesson, we showed if you show me three angles and three sides, or not three angles, if you show me all the angles and all the sides of both shapes are congruent, then we know the shapes are congruent. Well, what we're saying here is if I have a triangle, if I have two triangles, and in those two triangles, didn't draw it very well here, if I know all the pairs of sides are congruent, then those triangles must be congruent automatically. So I can look at this through a proof. I want to prove that these two triangles are more specifically, I want to prove QRT is congruent to SRT. I'm told triangle QRS is isosceles with QR congruent to SR. So let's mark that so we know QR is congruent to SR. We're also told that RT bisects QS at T. We're going to do this as a flow proof. So what happens is when you do a flow proof, remember, first thing we do, we write down our given. And we write down what we know because of the given. So we know the triangle is isosceles with QR is congruent to SR. Doesn't tell me much. So I say it's given. Remember when you do the proof, a flow proof, you write the reason underneath. Now, our next given is RT bisects QS at point T. What does bisect mean? Well, think about it. Bisect means it goes through the middle. So that tells me then that QT is congruent to TS. Since I know that follows from my vocabulary word, I'm going to say that's the definition of it. And then finally, look for the simple one. RT is in both of them, isn't it? Since RT is in both my shapes, I'll say RT is congruent to itself. RT is congruent to RT. Reason I know that is reflexive. Now, if I put all three of them together, I've got side, side, Side. So I'm going to say those two triangles are congruent by side, side, side as my reason. Now in the next one, I have these two triangles constructed on my coordinate grid. I want to look at are they congruent? Well, side, 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 I look at the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the distance formula from J to K. So my distance formula from J to K, notice, 1 minus 2. So I'll say 1 minus 2 squared plus 1 minus 5 squared. Well, 1 minus 2 is negative 1 squared. 1 minus 5 is negative 4 squared. So that's the square root of 1 plus 16, which is the square root of 17. So j to k is the square root of 17. Now let's do, oh, let's do a, Let's do uh, K to L. 
So now when I look at K to L, I'm going to go 5 minus 1 is 4 squared. And 2 minus 1 is 1 squared. So I'll get the square root of 17 again. Oh, it's isosceles, isn't it? Now, let's do J to L. So J to L is going to be 5 minus 2, which is 3 squared, plus 2 minus 5, which is negative 3 squared, so I'll get the square root of 9 plus 9, which is the square root of 18. So I've done all three sides of my first triangle. Now I'm going to turn around, and I'll do all three sides of my next triangle. But I'm going to cut, I'm going to go in order so they correspond. So I'm going to do Q to N. So if I do Q to n, that'll be negative 3 minus a negative 4, which is 1 squared, plus 0 minus 4, which is negative 4 squared, which is 1 plus 16, which is the square root of 17. Notice, Q to N, J to K, they have the same length, don't they? Okay, now I'll do N to P. So if I do N to P, that'll be 3 minus a negative 7 squared, which will be negative 4 squared. plus 0 minus 1 squared, which is negative 1 squared, which is the square root of 17. So I know n to p <laughs> matches with k to l. And then finally, <coughs> excuse me, let's do qp. So now if I do QP, negative 7 minus a negative 4 squared. Well, that's 3 squared, isn't it? And then 1 minus 4, that's negative 3 squared. 9 plus 9, square root of 18. Notice you don't have to simplify these because we're just comparing them. We're not actually finding the length. So if I got three of them, I know my two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. Got to show all three sides if you're going to use side, side, side. 